Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, and today's patch, we're gonna be looking at those classic EDM plucks that sometimes we hear as an ARP, and sometimes we kind of hear as those kind of chord stabs, or just regular plucks, depending on how you play them. But anyway, it kind of sounds something like this. And if we go an octave higher, Right, kind of fun to play, and what's really nice is here down in the lower register. Gonna get some rich texture as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start recreating this. It's actually a very simple patch to make, but it's also a lot of fun with a lot of uses for it as well. So <clears throat> I have a second diva. Let's open this bad boy up and let's just right click and go to an init preset. Let's kind of bring our main one a little over here so we can kind of switch back and forth between these guys. Okay, so the main thing, so <laughs> right now our output's gonna be a little bit lower, so let's kind of go ahead and match that first. So we're at 74, so let's bring this down to 74 just so it's uh, a little more consistent, right? So if we look here, we're actually using three oscillators. We're using the first one at 100% in the mix, the second one is 78.5, and then the third one is just a little bit at 22.5. Now this is kind of more so meant to be like a sub oscillator, which we can always remove it if we kind of want more of that top end, but yeah, it's up to you. So. Getting into this here, the first one, we're going to put the range all the way up to two, right? So let's take these first out of the mix and kind of concentrate on the first one here. So this one is going to go into two right here. We have something kind of high pitched like that. Bring our octaves back to normal. Okay. Now this guy, we're kind of be using a little bit of a pulse wave here. So if we hover our mouse, this is going to be 7.90. And we can move this here to 7.90, something kind of like that. All right, so not too interesting at this point. So we're kind of just making the texture, right? Now for the second oscillator, this one is going to be 78.5 in the mix. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Okay, so with this guy, we're going to be going 8.3 on the waveform, so 8.3. And then if we look over here, the detune is going to be 12.5, and we're also going up to 4. And this is going to be 12.5, so just, or 12.15, so a tiny little motion here, just a little bit of detune, something like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool there. And our third one is going to be 22.5 in the mix. Let's bring this up here, 22.5, something kind of like that. Now this one is not going to be detuned fine, but this one's going to be an eight, so we don't really have to change anything here. And then the waveform is going to be 7.30, so let's bring this over here to 7.30. So that's the core of the sound for our oscillators. Pretty cool. Okay, so now what we need to do is take a look at the filter. So if we look at our filter right now, it's going to be at 56, so we can bring this bad boy down to 56, something like that. A boom. So when now we play it, <laughs> we don't really hear much. So a lot of this has to do with envelope modulation. And for both of these, we're using the analogs so we can scroll up on our mouse wheel and switch both of these out. So before we dive into this category of the envelope and the emphasis or the resonance, we do need to dial in our envelopes just a little bit here. So our attack is going to be one, which is default. And our, de our decay is going to be 42. So we can bring this down just a little bit. Something like that here, 42. And then no sustain, right? Because it's kind of a, it's a pluck kind of thing, right? We don't really want sustain. 34 on the release, so bring this up just a little bit here. And the decay and the release for these should be pretty similar, right? Because if we hold it down or if we hit it and let go, it should sound somewhat similar, right? So the next one is going to be one as well on the attack. And then the decay is 39. So bring it down here, 39. And then also no sustain, bring that bad boy all the way down. And then a release is going to be 35. So they're pretty similar envelopes, but they're not exactly the same. Okay, so now we have this. And we, if we play things, we, we barely hear anything, right? So this is where the envelope two comes in. So if we hover our mouse over the second envelope, we're modulating this by 58, right in the positive direction. So we're kind of getting that sound, whoops, 58, all right, we go. All right, we're kind of getting that sound there. Now we do want a little bit of emphasis or resonance at 14.5. Now this just adds a little bit of subtle character to it. A little lower octave playing here. Okay, 
Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot here. So we've basically covered all of this stuff over here. We're not using any feedback or any of these noise or anything like that. So we can leave that alone. And we're gonna come back to this switch here because it's kind of interesting once we finish the patch, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so for our main stuff here, so we're not really using at LFOs. I did kind of do it a little bit in the beginning, but I kind of was like, ah, maybe better not. I kind of liked it without it. So we're not, no LFOs, we can skip over this part. Like I said, this one's pretty easy. The tuning, we can leave this here alone, same as this section down over here. So over here next to the amplifier pan, we I did try to do a, uh, like stacking the voices, right? If we put the stack to two and then pan those, and it sounded kind of weird. So this one's just gonna be one stack. So we don't really have to change that as well. So really, we don't have to go to ARPS anyway. We can, but uh, to build this patch, let's tr jump uh, <laughs> right into the effects. So first one's gonna be a chorus. So let's go ahead and turn this chorus on. And it's gonna be on classic, which is most of the time my favorite. And our rate's gonna be 26.5. So let's actually move this a little over like that here. Maybe see if we can do it like that. Will it let us do it? Ah, that's fine. Okay, so our rate's 26.5. So bring this down here. 26.5 and the goal is to kind of get a little bit of that detuned characteristic a little bit but also have have it more of a wide sound as well and then the depth is going to be 61.5 so we can bring this up here 61.5 all right and then our wet is going to be 57 so let's go ahead and adjust that here because 100 is a little bit too much there we go So the chorus just has a little bit of kind of spatialness, a little bit of detuning, kind of makes it a little bigger. <laughs> okay, so moving on from there, uh, we have a delay. So we can select here, go to our delay, turn this bad boy on. Now for this guy, so if we selected this track up here. So the delays are kind of just making it a little bit more open, a little bit more ethereal, right? So if you look at our delays, our dry is 100%, that's fine. Our center volume is going to be 10, so let's increase this up to 10. And then if we look over to the side volume, this one is going to be 10 as well. I believe I kept these the same. So we can bring this down 20 is a little bit much, so we can bring that back down to 10. And then if you looked over here, this low pass is gonna be all the way to the left, right? Because we really don't want too many of those highs. This should actually just target the other one here that we're working on. So the delays, should actually come out a little bit dark so they don't really interfere with the actual lead sound. Right, so it kind of helps that out a little bit. And then the high pass is gonna be 21.50, so 21.50. Something kind of like that there. And then our feedback, 21, which I believe is almost oh, close to defaults. So I just brought this down just a little bit here. And then moving on from there, the wow, we can leave that at about 50. That's fine. We don't have to worry about this guy. So our right is going to be four, our center is four, and then our left is going to be two. So left, two, four, center, and four, right. So we can leave that there. Okay. So for the most part, our patch is pretty much done. Now, if you're familiar with Devo, you know that we only have two effects less, and I really like the chorus, and I really like the delay, and we're using up two of these spots here. So in this case, once I load up the first one, you can tell that there's reverb on it, and a really nice one. You have those kind of chord stab things again. Right, kind of nice there. So what's basically going on here, if we look at our reverb, this is going to be a Valhalla vintage verb, as no surprise. And this one's gonna be on the Chamber 1979, which is really, really nice. I kind of really like this uh, this algorithm recently. So I've been kind of going to that one. And it works pretty well with this, like here. So there's a lot of different ways you can play this. You can also turn on the ARP if that's something that you're interested in doing. You can totally do that. But yeah, there's a lot of uses for this type of patch here. So if we close this guy out and we target back our second one that we're recreating, it's pretty dry. So we do want to add a little bit of that reverb to this guy. And we have our Valhalla Vintage Verb here.
And there you have it. So it's really not too difficult to make. And before we let you go, I did want to bring your attention to this uh, this switch here that changes our filter from a 24 dB to a 12. So when it's on 24, we kind of get that, uh, it's kind of more of a round sound, kind of softer. And then once you click this guy here, it's more bright, much more active, I suppose. So I did want to bring your attention to this because the, this switch here is kind of a way to make the patch a little bit more exciting if you need it or if you want it kind of more in the background and kind of kind of blending in with things a little bit more than keep it on 24. All right, so there's that and then 12. Really depends on how you want to uh, play that patch. But yeah, and that's how you make it. If you would like a free copy of the patch, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.